called Fill the Stairs is targeted towards first grade. However, it can be used in other grade levels. When you use it with other grade levels, a lot of strategy uh, becomes a really strong focus. The goal of this game is to compare two digit numbers and to write them in order from least to greatest, filling up the staircase. So as students fill this in, they do not need to make this the 10s, the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, and so forth. As they roll their dice, they're going to determine where they want to place their number on the staircase. And it, as long as it is in order from 0 to 100, they're good. So you can play this game with two dice. You can also use playing cards for this game. And you can actually also use dominoes. So if I use the domino, this would be a 31 or a 13. So here's an example with dice. I have my dice, I make my hockey net, my dice, which is my puck, roll into the hockey net to control your dice. So I rolled a one and a two. I can either make this 12 or I can make this 21. Again, strategy. So I could put, let's say I go with 21, I could put 21 up here. It's a legal move because 21 is less than 100. My question is, how would putting 21 here impact the rest of my game? Just some questions to think about and ask your student. So I think I'm going to put 21, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put it right here. It doesn't have to go there, however, I'm feeling good there. Okay, player number two rolls the dice. I'll roll it for him because he is the cameraman. Oh, got the exact same thing, 21. Let's say cameraman wants to do 12. So on his, on his 12, he could put it here. And if he did, that would be okay. And I would let him and ask him, how do you think that will impact your game? Or tell me why you put 12 right here. Because we want students to justify their reasoning, which is an important mathematical practice. I believe, that cameraman would want to put it right there. All right, again, I would ask him, why is that the best move that you put there for you? Okay, player one rolls again. So we have 24 or we have 42. So if I take 42, I might ask, is this a legal move? Why or why is this not a legal move? I could put 42 here again. How would it impact my, my uh, game? I'm going to put it here and see what happens. Player two takes their turn on their game board and so forth. To step this up a little bit, make it a little bit more creative, you could have the whole family play or two players play at the same time on the same game board. So we have a game already started here. Player one is in blue and player two is in orange. And so the winner of this game is the person who fills in their uh, staircase. Actually on this one, the person who fills in their staircase first is the winner. Um, and the person who has the most spaces filled in on the staircase is the winner. If on any of these, on these games, if they um, cannot put their number, so let's say I roll a number, which is 23, oh, lucky I have it there. But let's pretend I couldn't put a number here. There was just no no place for me to put. So let's say 30, no, let's say this is 50, 54. 54 would be right here. And 45 would also go right here. I don't have a move, so I lose my turn. So it's my, uh, it's player two's turn now. And that's how you play Fill the Stairs. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.